This is the intro jingle. This is the K-Pop Devok Show with Eric Nam. Ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the best show in all the world. This is the K-Pop Tebok Show with me, Eric Nam. And today we have a special guest. Before we jump into his episode, we do have to let you know that you should rate and review and subscribe to this podcast from wherever you're getting your podcast. Apple, Spotify, Google, I don't know. It doesn't matter as long as you're listening. Also, you guys can check out the full episode of this and highlight clips with great mm, somewhat contextual memes on youtube.com slash dive pods and youtube.com slash dive studios. Now, I'm excited to just jump into this because we haven't seen each other in a minute and we have a lot to talk about. Please welcome child prodigy, future leader of the world, and potentially president, Sam Kim. Oh my goodness. Wow, future leader of the world. Yes. That's that's a lot of hand that's I a lot believe, to handle. <laughs> I believe that with your musical <laughs> capabilities, you can whisper your way into the hearts of everybody. Yes, I'm MMRing and, all the way. Yes, and manipulate everybody into becoming a <laughs> a, a follower. follower of the Sam Kim. <laughs> Okay, all right. I'm I'm down. All right. Wait, wait. Do I say my piece? Do I say <laughs> Go ahead. hello? I am the future leader mm-hmm. of you yeah. watching and yep. listening right now. Amen. My name is Sam Kim mm-hmm. and I'm going to be whispering my way into your heart. Um I love it. Yeah. You can do it anytime. <laughs> People, if you don't know who this guy is, you're going to get to know him and you'll be like, "Damn. This boy can sing." There we go. All right, but there anyways, Let's just kick it off. How are you, dude? Dude, I… So, the main point is I'm getting better. Good. It's good. Good. Life is good. Good, um, man. It's not to say that I was like doing bad before. Mm. But like, you know, you know, like everybody gets like kind of stuck sometimes yeah. in life. I think that's what I was going through for mm. the past like two-ish years. Mm. I was just like bummed out, man. I was just down. Not we doing, go through that, man. Yeah. But just like… You know, it's, it's it's a sunny day. It's a good and it's day. It's a beautiful day. It's a good life. Yeah. It's getting better. All right. That's yeah. good. I mean, okay, for people who don't know who Sam Kim is, I mean, you're clearly not living right because you should know who Sam Kim is. <laughs> right. So let's let's fix yourself real quick. So Sam is a incredibly talented singer songwriter, and he was a runner up of a show called K pop Star, season three. Three. Correcto. Correcto. Who won that season? Bernard Park. Oh, Bernardi. Mm-hmm. Bernard did. Yes, he did. Um, and let's see. Sam, you are how old are you now? I am 23 in Korean Gosh, age now. Gosh, you're still so 22. So young. I'm born in 98. Gosh. So Hell I'm yeah. not jealous. I'm, <laughs> you know, it's just the way it is. But anyways. Um, okay, let's talk about this. You are… For people who don't know you, you were born and raised in Washington. Mm-hmm. I was born and raised in Seattle, Washington. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, just like… Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What, what else you got? What else you got for me? We have a lot of random facts for, about let me, you. Let me confirm you, this. You have two younger siblings. I do. Man. I am the oldest of a family of three. Sheesh. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. Mm. How old are they? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Um, I will… <laughs> I will check on that later, but Sam. they are indeed younger than me. Sam, <laughs> Sam, I was gonna be like, are you gonna be? A, are you a good big brother? But clearly not. If you don't know no, their ages, it's, it's um. What year were they born? They year? Yeah. So if I knew that, this kid is just. If I, <laughs> if I, if I knew that, oh I know God. their birthdays are. Um, yes, my brother, my young, mm-hmm. the 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 brother, the the male. What's the, his name? Do you know his name? <laughs> Sam, do you know your brother's name? Uh, um, he was born in February. <laughs> he doesn't know your brother's <laughs> no. name. What's your brother's name? My brother's name is Daniel. Are you sure? You might I'm, have made that up. I'm 98% sure his name <laughs> is Daniel. The last time I checked, it, okay. it did not change. Watch it be Danielle. Danielle. And he has no idea. With a little Kurt, like a squiggly? Uh, uh, yeah, is he from Fran- um, France or now? something? I don't know. <laughs> he's, he's, his birthday is actually Valentine's Day. Okay. So there's that. And then my sister's birthday is… It's Christmas Day. It is not Christmas okay. Day. It is February. <laughs> no, hold on. Just give me a second. It'll come. It'll come. It's twelve. It's twelve. Okay. February twelve. All right. So we're all Feb ba- a February babies. February babies. Mm-hmm. Man, yeah. And you're February nineteenth. Right. So you guys are all in the same week. 
Is that right? Yeah, well, if it's 19th, 14th, and 12th, that's within seven days. Right. Like mathematically. Mathematically, that is all that in is, the same time exactly. period. Yeah. So what was… What's… Okay, wait. Let's think about this. That's is it July then? July. Let's not think about that. <laughs> I don't. You see, that's the that's the thing. Like, I don't want to. I'm know. just wondering, like, <laughs> your parents' anniversary. I'm actually. What's going on? That's, I actually never thought about it like that. Look for me. What's going on? My brothers and I. We're all born in like late October, early November. Uh-huh. So I'm like, yo, Valentine's Day. Okay. That's what it is. It's let's the only way out, it makes sense. Let's bring out the numbers. So va- so that's what Valentine's Day is. So it's like exactly nine months. So I'm mm-hmm. like, it must be that point. But like, not okay. that I needed to know that. But I was like, okay, maybe we think about it for yeah. a minute when you're in. When you're young, you're like, how are uh-huh. babies made? And right. you find out and you're like, oh, mom and dad, what? They <gasps> did what? They, <gasps> did, they did that? Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. Sorry, guys. Um, but anyways, <laughs> you don't know your brother and sister's age. I'm not. But that's fine. Uh, <laughs> no, they, they just… Um, okay, so I think they're going to college now. What do you mean you think they're going into college no, now? No, which is insane. Which is crazy because… Like the last time I saw them, they like they were just getting into high school, right? And now they're going to college. Like that's that's crazy. That's, it is crazy. That's that's freaking crazy. It is crazy. Wait, so who is it? The sister's older or the brother's older? The sister is yeah, she's older. So it's you, then sister, and then brother. Yep, that, that's how it is. So she's going to college. She's um yeah. Are you sure? I'm. You look like you're questioning let me, everything about l- this. You know what? Um, next time I come on, okay, I will confirm all of this, <laughs> and I'll, hopefully, all right, they'll still want to be. They'll they'll still want, want to be, be my siblings. siblings. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fair. All right. <laughs> Can you please um, tell your siblings that you do love them? Uh, yeah, of course I do. Wait, say their names. Uh, um, <laughs> Su Sujin and Daniel. I love <clears throat> I love you guys so <clears throat> I love you guys so much. Your older brother loves you so much. Oh my God. And next time I, I see you guys in Seattle, I will give you a big hug and a lot of allowance money. Yes. Thank you, big brother. As you <laughs> I feel like you should we need to give you a little rum into that cola or <laughs> sorry, that coffee right there. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but anyways. Yeah, I mean, you know, understandable. You've been in Korea for how long now? It's been… It's, it's, it's been a good… Like seven, de- eight years, right? Yeah, like six, seven years. I think I debuted in 2016. Yeah. 16. And then it but took like two show, years right. to debut. So yeah, a good… What, what is that? Six years? <sighs> yeah, six years. Coming six, on to seven. seven. Years. So, I mean, that. I mean, and you're only 23 in Korean age. Like what, 22? 22, Ooh, mm-hmm, I think. In normal age. Right. So that means you got here when you were like 15, 16. Yeah. So, I mean, you've you've been away from family for such a long time. Right, yeah. Um, but, I don't know. I feel like that's also… It's like awesome that you started your career so early. But also like… Can be difficult at times. Like so, being away from family. Yeah. I So, I, I don't think I, I realized it like on the ride. Mm. But just like… Especially with everything that's been going on, mm. you have a, you have a lot of time to think, mm-hmm. which I don't think was the most like the best thing for me, uh-huh. especially at this time. But yeah, it kind of hit me like real hard, mm. and it's just like a lot of thinking um, has led to like I call it a slump. That mm-hmm. so, like I said, it wasn't the easiest time. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it's getting better now. Good. But yeah, just thinking on. Like how I grew up. Like who am I? You know all mm-hmm. these like real deep questions. Yeah. That's what kind of hit me. Yeah. So yeah. I mean it's all like very very valid stuff. I mm-hmm. mean I look at I look at you as like an incredibly talented young dude. And you were thrust into the limelight at such a young age. Right. Yeah. And you did not speak very good Korean when you got no, here either. I did not. It's gotten a lot better. Um, But… To imagine that stuff that most people go through during their high school and college years Mm -hmm. as like very formative years. You kind of spent here on your own becoming a musician. Yeah. And I'm sure Mm -hmm. that had a tax or certain pressure or certain burden on you that you didn't even realize as you were going through. Right, right. Like I'm sure you know too. But you know when you're going through it Mm. and you're just kind of mindlessly working. Yeah. And everything's new. So everything is fun when it's new. Right, right, right. Uh, but later when this becomes like your life… Mm-hmm. A few years down the line… And you slow down and you start to look like back on the things. Mm-hmm. It's like damn. 
this all really happened. Yeah. Like we did this. Yeah. And then I don't know. You start to… Like like how was it for you? How was that transitioning I phase I just didn't even you? think about it. You didn't think about like, it. Run. Right? Sprint. Do what you can. And then so what, hap- what happened after all that sprinting? You burn out. You get tired bro. So how did you deal <laughs> with that? I… Uh, how did I deal with that? I think for me… I had to let… You have to learn to let go of certain things that you can't control. Exactly. And also learn to be very forgiving to yourself. Have mm-hmm. grace with how you treat yourself. Mm-hmm. And uh, then you have to make changes to make sure that you're feeling okay. You know? Yeah. So that's that's kind of like what… What that's how I'm trying to think, mm. and that's why it's getting better. That's good. Yeah, that's good. Because I mean, I mean, I don't know if if you feel uncomfortable saying this, we can mm-hmm. take it out afterwards. But mm-hmm. I remember even when I saw you last year and the year before, <laughs> you I felt like you were going through a lot yeah. emotionally, mentally, uh-huh. just trying to figure things out. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I want to help you, but at the same time, it's it's something that everybody kind of has to go exactly. through. It sucks. That period <clears throat> sucks. Mm-hmm. But you get through it and you come out stronger and you come out better at the other side and and it looks like it's happening. Yeah. Right now. It's 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 getting better. That's good. It's getting better. That's good. Um I remember last time we we shot something, it was about a year it was over a year ago now. Over. Uh-huh. So for listeners who are listening for the first or who are recent additions to our family here, one of the first episodes we ever shot <laughs> of K pop Tebak show. Was with Sam Kim. And we shot it. And at that point we were doing this show. It was going to be called like Drinks with Eric or something. So mm-hmm. we got a bar. And it was gonna, we were just going to di- go to different bars and different situations. Have a drink and talk about life. Pretty mm-hmm. much like what we do in this show. And so we shot it at a bar. And we had good conversation. <laughs> and then the team that shot the video. They had a fire in their building. And then it caused all the sprinklers to go off. Oh boy. And it flooded. And they were in the basement. Oh boy. And so all the water from the entire building flooded into <sighs> their basement. So they had like a fire and flood. And they lost all the footage. Like and all then, the equipment. Yeah. Like everything. And I was like… I felt so bad. I was like… Sam I'm really sorry. Well that's not I, like… So you sorry. were apologizing to me. But I was like… I was no so are so they okay? Like, I still felt bro. so bad. I mean I felt bad for everybody. But I was like… Man… This sucks. Because I felt yeah. like we shot it in like a very… Like a… How do you say? An interesting bar. It was. And uh, it was really we nice. got a little tipsy. We had, I, had, I think I had a Manhattan. You did. You I had did. a Manhattan. And I got very tipsy. <laughs> 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 I got very red. <laughs> but uh, yeah. But uh, so we're back here. Almost mm-hmm. a year, year and a half later mm-hmm. to, to do this. But how, how have you been actively trying to like get better? Like, get is better. It, I mean, I feel like this is this isn't just spe- specific to you. Mm-hmm. Like so many people, especially in coronavirus, are going through like difficulty, yeah, just, like emotionally, mentally, it's hard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's helped you? Just like I don't know. I've always had the tendency to just smile through everything. Mm. Just try to be optimistic. Mm-hmm. Try to be um, happy and that happy-go-lucky kind of kid. Yeah. And then it was to the point where. I, I thought feeling sad or at least showing that I'm sad was wrong. Mm. You know what I mean? So just… I know I went through like… I, I, I don't know. The people around me… My mom… I talked about this with my mom and she kind of says it like a late puber- puberty almost. Mm-mm, you know what I mean? Mm-mm. That's what I… I, th- I think that's what I kind of went through. Mm. It was like this really long time of trying to get, convince myself that dude… Feeling sad. Feeling… Down is not a bad thing. Mm -hmm. And you have every right to like call for help. Or just talk about these kind of feelings with the… With your close ones. And that just took a a really long time. Mm. Once you get over that hill… Then it's actually starting to process these feelings. Mm -hmm. And like you just start thinking about everything. Well for me I started thinking about… when I did like K-pop star and then first coming to Korea and all these things, being away from family, mm-hmm. uh, just like these really minor details, how that, how I felt back then and how like lonely I was and all that, all these things, mm-hmm. you start to process that, yeah, which is another battle in itself. I think you just 
that process, once you come to the near of it, you start understanding yourself more as a person. Right. And why I am… Why I am the way I am. Mm-hmm. So once you get comfortable with that, I think that's when it starts to get better. You just acknowledge, okay, what's… I don't know. I'm still in the process of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, dude. Just acknowledge that if you're sad, it's okay to be sad. It sounds so cliche, but it's such a hard thing to do mm-hmm. for a lot of people. And if you need help, get help. Right. Yeah. No, I, I, I completely agree. I think that's such a important point. For real. It's such a taboo thing to talk yeah. about too. It is. But I'm glad that you're talking about it. I'm glad that we actually talk about it quite a bit here on the show. Because it's there's something about normalizing these sentiments of how you feel. It's a, it's a, yeah, it's a good message. You know? And so for me too, I'm like, oh, you gotta… You just gotta be okay with accepting the way you are and mm-hmm. how you feel. And just, just dealing with it. So yeah. I'm glad to see you doing that. I also saw that you've been very physically active. So, so that's one way that I'm trying to cope with. Okay. To like talk about um, how I lived the past two years. It's just… So for me, I think weight is a really big thing on Mm. how I feel. Mm. And like how uh, confident I feel. Mm. And confidence is like a thing where it affects how happy I am Mm. at that time. So I don't know. Just It was just this really bad, uh, miserable cycle of where I would feel bad. And then I would eat. I would get bigger. Mm. And then because I'm big… I would get more sad. It was just this really vicious Mm -hmm. cycle. And so I remember not going out. Mm -hmm. I remember not wanting to go out. And I thought just being at home alone in my comfort zone was was the most comfortable thing for me. Right. But once you start um, just that first step like outside and you realize, dude, the sun feels so good. And just going outside, being with friends. Once you you take that… once you have something to compare your like the only life you knew in your home in that really depressed state, once you find something better, you only then can you realize, oh my god, how did I live like this? Mm-hmm. Uh, wh- what were we talking about? <laughs> what are we talking about? Dude. We're talking about how you have been physically active. Yeah, recently. yeah, exactly. So. So it's you're like, feeling better. You're I'm feeling feeling more better. active. Yeah. You you're breaking that cycle of negativity. Yeah, exactly. It's good. And and it's you know, th- and people are like, why are we talking about this? Well, it, mm-hmm. this directly also affects your music. Exactly. Right? Yeah. I, I remember you were in and, such a slump even mm-hmm. when it came to music. You mm-hmm. weren't really writing much. You didn't want to write. Yeah. You like couldn't write. I have a whole nother like thought process about that. Yeah. That I kind of want to organize and then maybe we can talk about it next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I just know so many people around me also. And I'm sure you do too. Mm. Musicians Mm -hmm. who are like… They don't… Like they're going through a hard time. Mm -hmm. It's just they don't… Like they… I don't know. I don't want to speak for them. You know, this Mm -hmm. is a touchy subject. But I… I I don't know. I kind of want to like call those people. Just like take them out. You know? Be like, come out. Mm -hmm. You're going to be good. Let's go hang out. Okay. You realizing that now mm-hmm. is incredibly important. And it's and I'm glad you have realized it. I mm-hmm. think there are people who go through stuff and are going through stuff who haven't been able to break that cycle yet. Right. Around you, around me, people I'm sure that we both know as well. Mm-hmm. Um, people that I know just personally. Yeah. But it's… Uh, especially in a pandemic where everybody's stuck at home. Right. And they're starting to like feel really anxious about it. Like it's important that we kind of check in on each other and like Mm -hmm. say what's up. So that's why I just like text you like how are you? You So yeah. I want to thank you brother. Dude like every single time I would be stuck at home Mm. thinking that this is where I'm comfortable. Mm -mm. And then like seeing somebody from the outside like kind of step in and try Mm -mm. to take Mm -mm. me out. Even that little act of just like messaging and checking Mm -mm. up on me. That's what progressively allowed me to… Break out my shell and just good get man. it get better, dude. Good, yeah, thank you. No, man, that's like that's nothing. I was just like, I hope this t- I hope this kid's doing okay. <laughs> I haven't heard from him in a minute. Uh, oh man, yeah, it was a tough ride though. But I'm glad to see you're doing mm-hmm. better. You look better. You you seem happier. Mm-hmm. You seem brighter. 
Yeah, dude, go get some sun. Go get, <laughs> let's go. Let's go out. Let's go ride a bike. Go tanning. Go yeah. ride a bike. Do mm-hmm. whatever. Go go on, go for a walk. You've been biking a lot, haven't you? Yeah. How's that? It's really fun. I I was going with like one of my old uh, friends that I first met when I came to Korea, uh-huh. and I saw him like just take a picture of his of him going on a, a bike ride. And I was like, dude, let me join you. Mm. And yeah, that. It's how we rode 120 kilometers in one day. Wow. For like my first time That's on like a long distance ride bike. We went 120k. Which… That's like, insane. Which killed me in my thighs. Well yeah. Why would you do touch that? Touch my thighs bro. No I don't want to touch, touch it. No, I'm touch fine. my damn thighs Can I right punch now. your thighs? <laughs> punch. Nah. It's… Dude. Oh. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> so wait, what else? What else have you been doing? You've been biking. Have you been like boxing or like what else have you been doing? Boxing. I don't know. People have been doing a lot of stuff. That's recently. true. I've it's just like physical activity mm. is is my coping mechanism. Okay. I found out everybody has something different, but for me, that's like when I'm I feel like the happiest mm. and I feel like I've achieved something yeah. is when my thighs are burning. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about my thighs, <laughs> but other than that. I think um, I've gained enough confidence to start doing music again. That's good. Which is… It's weird to say like that, isn't it? Like I think like a year or two ago when all this started… I I just didn't want to do music. Mm. The the thing… And it it sucks because music is like the one thing I'm good at. Mm. Music is the the one thing that I love. Mm. That I want to take forever, you know? Mm -hmm. And… That's and at that time, that's the one thing I didn't want to do. Mm. The and so just like that whole mind uh, train of thought just kind of led to even more sadness. Because why, why, why don't I want to do the one thing I that love? You absolutely, yeah, love. yeah. And so it took a while to figure that out. But I just, if looking back, I feel like I wasn't really confident mm. enough. I. I just had to shut up and just write and just do something. But I was too scared to write something bad or mm-hmm. not of my standards. Mm-hmm. What took me out of this train of thought was like… Very recently, I read something on the internet where like… Michael Jackson and the people that you and I look up to… Mm-hmm. Like they don't care if they write something bad or not. They just write. Mm-hmm. And so what kind of… Woke me up was what am I to not write because I'm scared of writing something bad when mm. when the people I idolize are just doing it you right know? right 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 like uh, I we'll talk about this next time yeah yeah I'm still yeah. going through this I mean that's I mean if there's anything that's that's fine but I'm mm-hmm. glad all to say I'm really glad to see you are in a better place yeah and you're processing. And you're getting back to writing because yeah. there's so much talent <laughs> inside of you that I've, you know, I still listen to your songs regularly, like on a regular basis. So um, I've always, I've told you this before. I was like, you could, you should be, and you will be like the Korean, Korean American Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran. James Bay, whatever. We'll get great there. Guitarist, we'll get there vocalist, one day. Like it's incredible. So I'm. Um, and you're still so young, dude. You have so much to do. So I ain't worried about you. All right, guys. So um, guess what? We are almost at 100 freaking episodes of the K-Pop Tebak Show. Thank you so much for listening. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. And I'm so glad that I get to be a part of your week and your day on a regular basis and as long as you guys are listening i'll keep creating and hopefully we just keep making the show better and better now um we are about to hit 100 episodes and i cannot believe we are about to hit 100 episodes and we haven't done any sort of k-pop tebok merch in a long time so i figured this is the time to do it so i'm i'm quickly furiously uh trying to design something really really cool but i was hoping to get your feedback i want your help i want you to take part in this with me so i have created a survey and you can go into the survey and you can fill it out but pretty much i want to know some of your favorite quotes memes one-liners whatever it is from all the episodes of k-pop tebak it can be by a host 
myself, it can be by a guest, it doesn't matter, but if you could please specify which episode uh, was funny and why it was funny, whatever that quotation was, and uh, hopefully we can create something really cool together. I'm working really hard with the team at Dive Studios to make something really cool, and I'm really excited for you guys to be a part of it. So uh, you guys can go to the link. It's in my socials. It's also all over the Dive socials, and I'll also try to put a link to this in the podcast description itself. So check it out, and uh, I'm really excited to make this with you guys. And um, yeah, back to the show. Love you guys. Bye. Um. Let's talk about songs you have written. I mean, mm-hmm. you've collaborated with some of the biggest names in Korea, right? Um, including, you know, IU, mm-hmm. Crush, Loco, who was just here, right? Uh, Zico, uh, Chokje, you work with a lot. Oh yeah. Like, who are some? Who are some of your pa- favorite people? Favorite people? Who are some of your favorite people to work with, and who would you love to work with in the future? Let me see. Like, so my future. Ideal dream is to write a lot of songs for other people. Mm. So I recently wrote for… Um, uh, what do we call him? Do we call him a Peu? We call him a Peu. Peu Park Bogong. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I wrote him a song. Um, which was a lot of fun. It's just… Yeah. How was it working with He Park is Bogong? such a sweetheart. Mm. It's, it's insane how nice he is. Mm-hmm. We… Before I wrote the song for him… We like met up and we ate some… Really good pasta. And then, <laughs> and then we shared ideas. Mm. And he like he was talking about his life and what he was going through. Mm-hmm. And um, he made it such a comfortable space for me to talk about what I was going through at mm. that time. And he just made it so comfortable for me to write. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it was just a really good experience writing for him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good song. I really like yeah, that song. Yeah, it's a great song. I mean… You write great songs. Who? I mean, anybody else that you really love to? Who's on your wish list of people My you want to write for or work with? So you know, we've never collabed. I I know we've never collabed. We need to do it. We we sang that one song on that on on Sketchbook. But we did. Yeah, but that was in our song. But we never collabed. You and we, I. We got to. We whenever we have you're to. ready. Whenever I'm ready. Yeah, let me know. We'll we'll dude. We'll talk about it. Yeah. But yeah, you, Eric Nam. Well, thank you. I'm. I'd that's be honored. that's one of the people I want to work okay. with. Okay. Let me see who else I want to work with. Um, bop, 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 bop. crayon pop, crayon pop. <laughs> <I'm> sorry, <laughs> you're just saying pop, 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 pop. I want to work with Jay. 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 Um, Which Jay? Jay? The day the, six or Jay Park? Day six. Day six. Oh, okay. 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 I dude, I would love to work with work with Jay Park Young too. <laughs> yeah. Dude, like we're both from Seattle, so there's oh, this yeah, like thing. Oh yeah, yeah, But yeah. I want to work with him, and he's such a cool and he's, he's such a respectable like yeah person. I want to work with him too. But I was talking about Day Six J, R J, Among Us J. Okay, okay, um, <laughs> <laughs> Imposter J. <Jay. laughs> no, J has a has a, an amazing voice. As he well. has such a good voice. Yeah. It's insane. Super good, mm-hmm. super good. As you were saying, like. Mm-hmm. Uh, we did that song together. I thought you were talking about a Costa Rica trip. Oh boy. I, that I had locked away oh boy. in the back of my head. Did I, did I awaken <laughs> the beast? <laughs> so, okay. oh, no. we're going to talk about this real quick. I didn't even think about this. Okay, so Sam and I, we first, I think that's the first time we mm-hmm. met, right? We mm-hmm. first met on this TV show, and it was you. Me and you. Can we being. talk about this? Why not? Okay, all right. Okay. Well, I mean, unless you don't want to, no, but no, like, I'm, there's I'm okay nothing bad about yeah. it. Yeah. We did this show. Um, it was twenty what sixteen? Twenty? Yeah, like twenty seven. Like I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah. We went to Costa Rica, mm-hmm. and it was. They're like, oh, like don't worry, you go, and you just hang out with your friends. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, really? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you just go, and we pay for everything. And she and was just- the imposter. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Yep. Uh, and so, yo, so we get to this, we get to this show, and it took us forever to get there. Oh boy. Right. And mm-hmm. it was like Yubin's first time ever on like an on airplane. Plane. And it took us probably 30 hours to get there. Yeah. And it was, let's put it this way: there were certain things that we got to do that we probably otherwise would never be able to do. Yeah. Like yeah. bungee jumping. Mm-hmm. I'll never do that again. Well, I will never it was bun- fun. I will never bungee jump again. Really? I can 
like skydiving, I can do. I've done it. What's love the dick? No. What's the difference? Bungee jumping was terrifying, dude. And skydiving. Skydiving is like somebody strapped on your back. Mm-hmm. You don't have a choice. If he says jump, you jump. <laughs> right? Bungee jumping, it was like we went into the middle of this gorge. Yeah, valley, a gorge. There you go. And they're like, your okay, SAT yeah. vocabulary. And, and you jump off whenever you feel like it. And I was uh-huh. like, you want me to, of my own free will, jump off of this platform into a ditch. <laughs> into it. And I remember I almost… I felt like I was going to die. Oh, man. But aside from that, the difficult part of that trip was that we never slept. Dude. We never We (laughs) just… Oh, my goodness. They tried to fit (laughs) so many activities. There's just so much room for activities. Oh, that was tough. With no sleep. Uh, It was was tough. I remember… Like, people started getting, like, sick because we we weren't, like, sleeping. Mm -hmm. We didn't sleep for, like, six days. Five Something days. Like that, yeah. And so everybody was like, this is really difficult. Uh-huh. They're all not like that. Okay. Okay. So if a good opportunity comes, you should take it. Great staff. Great, great people. staff. Great people. And I still to this day feel guilty because <laughs> I flew business and you guys flew economy. And I felt so bad. I mean, but I mean that's you know what? No. Now that I'm hearing it like Dude, that. I felt so bad. What in the hell? I felt so bad. I didn't know. But that's not your fault though. I know, but that's like I fault. felt so bad. I was And like, obviously like at that time like your your class and like no. our class like still it's different levels too. For it. me, I was like, look, they're all we're all artists. We're mm-hmm. all going as part of a show and I felt so guilty cuz they would it's like a 30 something hour flight <laughs> and I was like these kids are in the back and they're all just <laughs> Oh boy. Freaking out. And I was like… The yeah. peeping pub was good though. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Alright. There you go. At yeah. least there's some redeeming factors yeah. in it. But I mean… <laughs> it was a… It was a wild… It was a wild it was. show. Oh man. Uh, anyways. What are… You know… Now that you're back into writing and you're mm-hmm. trying to get your, your mojo back together… Mm-hmm. You know… Are you… Do you have anything coming up right now? Anything you're working on that you can so, share with people? Or? On the way here actually… Yeah. I, I wrote a song two days ago. Oh. And I was like writing the lyrics for it and trying to think of the concept for the mm. song. And just out of nowhere, I told my company on the way here, I was talking with my manager, I want to release this damn song mm. this month. Mm. November. Okay. I don't know if it's going to be possible. Okay. Because yeah, it's not. It's probably it's going to be really hard. Mm. But it's such a November-like song. It's such a fall song. Mm. And it's been such a long time since I wrote something that… I love listening to that mm. I'm proud of. Mm, mm, mm. And so I just want to hurry up and show this to the Ooh. world. I want to show this to you. I, I can't wait to, to hear it. So yeah, I have I have like I want to release it okay. soon. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, hopefully we'll hear it very soon. Other than that, I don't really have any official plans, okay. but hopefully you'll be hearing from me soon. I mean, you never disappoint when you do. So we got we got people waiting for you. Um, speaking of people who are waiting for you, we have a lot of fans who have sent in a lot of messages for mm-hmm. you. So, we got some questions for you. Let's see. If you guys ever want to text us, you guys can text us at 310-564-1030. This is for the US and Canada. Otherwise, you guys can connect with us on our socials at The Dive Studios or at Tebak Show to send in your questions. So, this is from Ermela in Rosemount, MN. Is that Minnesota? God, I'm really bad at my geography now. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, uh, as an artist, how do you find balance between the real you and the public figure you? Do you think you're the same person on and off camera? Honestly, it's it's kind of tough. Mm. Like I'm, I'm sure you know too. Mm. But it's there are some things you need to control. Mm. There are some words you shouldn't say mm. that you would say mm. in in real life. You yeah. know. But I don't think there's a huge gap between like the 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 real me and the camera me. Mm. But yeah, I mean, what about you? I think I'm the same. Yeah, I'm probably more boring on camera because mm. <laughs> I just don't know how to express myself fully. So I just kind of sit there. Because it's tough not to not to focus on that. It's yeah. Well, and then I'm just like, when I'm on Korean TV, I'm like, what are they saying? Like for me, half the time, I'm like, what are they talking about? Right. And so as I like translate things in my head, they're like, Eric, what about you? I'm like, what? I don't know. What are you talking about? Because it's a, it's a two way process. <laughs> yeah, you I'm like, hear it. You translate it. Yeah. And then it comes out. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I don't know. I just missed the entire conversation. <laughs> what? Um, that's how I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. This is from 
Alejandra Arias. Okay. From Fresno, California. Sam, mm-hmm. how does it feel to be a legend of OSTs? A legend of OSTs. Yeah. Is there a music genre that you haven't tried that you want to try? Yeah, I want to… So, you know, idol music. Uh. Like… It's like Seventeen or BTS. Uh-huh. And like what they do. Uh-huh. Super punchy. Uh-huh. Really fast and… Uh, like really fast attack lyrics. Yeah. I want to try that. I want to get better at that. Can we see you dance soon? I'm just asking. No pressure. I don't know about dancing. <laughs> I don't know about dancing. All, all the good. rhythm in my body goes here Into with the your guitar. You know what That's I mean? all good. But everything that I sing, I realized recently, is super like legato, legato, uh-huh. glidey. Right. Uh, uh, uh. Uh-huh. I want to be, I want to be able to rap or rap sing. Mm. So that's you've what been, I'm. I feel like you've been experimenting with it recently. I'm trying. Right? Yeah. So that's what I'm practicing lately. What was the question? No, that's pretty much it. Uh, was that it? Yeah. Okay. That was good. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is from Leslie in Calexico, California. This is for Sam Kim. Okay. Your music has literally changed my life. And you are my top favorite artist. What is the most important thing for you when you write music or you're an artist? The most important yeah. thing is… If I'm happy with the outcome, mm. you know, as long as you're happy, as long yeah, you as the artist and as the creator, mm-hmm. if you're happy, e- even if as I'm as I'm writing a song, if I if I'm not feeling in in the middle of it, I'll just kind of throw it away, mm. which I think now I see as a problem, which mm. is why I struggled with music so much because just yeah, I wasn't happy with the, what I was writing, so yeah. now I'm just being more accepting. Whatever I write is it's still from me, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm trying to think of it that way. But yeah, I feel like if I'm gonna release a song, I need to be happy with it, and yeah, just all right. Mm-hmm. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's that's what artists are. Yeah, painters, same thing. If exactly. they're happy with it, they're happy with it. Yeah. This is from Emma in San Francisco. How was playing Among Us with Jay? <laughs> it was it was terrible. Why? It was so bad. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I felt I felt really bad. Um, the people that he was streaming with, they're I'm like huge fans of them, uh. like Toast and and Ray and all these people. And so, not only am I playing with these people, it's it's super. Like, there was a lot of pressure mm. to be a good imposter because mm-hmm. if you're not, it's not fun for them. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but uh, even playing with my friends, I I'm such a crap imposter. <laughs> I'm so bad. Like I'll literally kill somebody. And please don't take this out of context. But I'll literally kill somebody in this room. And then somebody will walk in. And I'll be like, oops. Like it's… it's, This is in the game guys. This is in the game. (laughs) This is in the game. He's not killing people. I had such a a rough time. I I could feel… Whenever we had a conversation… I could feel that they were like, Okay, Sam is a guest. So let's kill this other person. Even though we know Sam is the imposter. And I felt… So mad because I know I can do better than this. So what you're saying is, mm-hmm. if you if they if you play with Sam, don't go easy on him just because he's a guest. Yeah, just kill me. <laughs> if you know I must be killed, then do what you must do. Mm. You we know? want integrity. We want into we have we have we want honor. integrity we and honor some, in that yeah. game. All right. <laughs> Those are your fan questions. Thanks for I had a, yeah, I had a good time. All right. Um, well, I'll have to check it out. I've never played that game. I got to check it out. But if you guys want to send messages to our guests, do so at 310-564-1030. And uh, you can connect with us on our socials. All right. So we got a few games to play here. Okay. All right. So first one is… It's called Sam I Am. Now, we know that you're a great songwriter. But you also write Instagram captions for your posts. So we're going to read some to you. Mm -hmm. And you have to tell us where it's written by yours truly, Sam or Eric Nam. Okay. Wait, hold on. I don't think I understood this completely. I don't think so. So I'm going to read a caption (laughs) and we figure out if I wrote it or if Sam wrote it. Okay. Interesting. I know the answers. You know the answers? I don't know the answers to this. I actually have no idea. Can you throw me a chocolate? You want chocolate? Yeah. Can you just like throw it? Just like. Ooh! That has almond butter inside of it. 
It's wanna, delicious. Thank you. I'm gonna eat this. No, have it now if you want. That's, that's okay. All right. So the first one is 내일은 무조건 한다잉. Who's written? Oh, Who so do I say the answer? Yeah, is that's it me. Sam? Oh, is it you? Yeah. In what context? In what context? I believe that's the one I posted of me rock climbing. Oh. And I failed. Oh. I failed miserably. And I was really into rock climbing at that time. So I was going to do it tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna did you do tomorrow. it? I did not. <laughs> I gave up rock climbing two days later. <laughs> All right, you know, fair enough. Uh, second one: No baby sharks were hurt in the making of this film. Turu turu. Oh, that is also me. Okay, yeah. context, please. Context. I there was a baby shark. I I came home. I came back from a from a concert, and then I came into our studio lounge. There was a baby shark balloon mm. that was floating. I grabbed that. I sucked the helium, and then. I sang one of my songs, and then I posted it. And then the sh- is on your Instagram. Yeah, and then the caption was "No baby sharks." Were- Good. No to animal cruelty. No to animal cruelty. Um, I was super ripped pre quarantine. I was super ripped pre. Is it? Were I'm gonna you? say that's me. Were you though? Hell no. <laughs> Was I ripped ever? Wait, no. no. I don't think I would say something like I've that. I've never been ripped in my life. What? What is this context? So oh, this is you. I, I imagine this is a photo of me. <laughs> it's me posing like I'm freaking Hulk Hogan Ooh. slash Iron Man. Uh-huh. And you know, okay. quarantine you know, makes you lose some pounds or gain some. There you go. You yeah. know, that's just what it is. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is… I don't understand how to wear bucket hats. Somebody explain. That's you. Probably. Wanna know why? I don't wear bucket hats. <laughs> I probably don't wear bucket hats either because I don't understand how they work. But recently I actually got into them. Yeah? Yeah. I always want to… I want to make them work but I'm like this looks so weird on my head. It, you just need a bigger hat. Really? Is that yeah, what it is? It is what okay, it is. Okay. I need a big mm-hmm. hat. Because mm-hmm. I think part of the appeal in a bucket hat is that you can't see half your face. Exactly. But when I see my entire face, I'm uh-huh. like this doesn't so work. So you need a bigger hat. Okay. Mm-hmm. So my hats are too small. Yeah. My bucket hats are. Okay. Fair. So that's Eric, right? That's me? Yeah. All right. Babe wants some wine. Oh, that's me. <laughs> who, are you, who are you chatting up? Oh, that is so me. <laughs> who are you chatting up? But I don't think this was a caption. Right? It's, the, it's that video, right? It's the caption. It's the caption? Oh, okay. Oh, in Korean, right? You, you okay? No, you need to see this video actually. Like, <laughs> can we show Eric the video? Because <laughs> there was a lot of artistry in this. There was a lot oh, of there editing. Was there now? There, I, I was the director of this film, and I need you to watch it. Okay. This video stars um Chung Sung Won. Ah, uh, mm-hmm. how is that guy? He's he's doing. Actually, I haven't been able to talk to him mm. recently, but I'm sure he's doing good. Hit. Hey, our interactions are based on how funny a meme is when we send it. <laughs> so um, his most recent meme that he sent me was a guy singing in the subway. Or there was… I don't know. He sends a lot of funny weird things. He he is such a talented singer as He's well. so good. Your your label is just like monsters of, of vocalists. I'm it's proud amazing. of my label. Yeah. I'm proud. You guys have such talented people. <laughs> you know Chokche recently came in Santana. Oh he oh he did. Mm-hmm. What is this powerhouse of people? It's insane. It's insane. Freaking wild. Um, on the next note, on that note, as we pull that up, mm-hmm. here's one. It says, "Check the grease stain on the pocket." Oh, that's me. That's all me, baby. You like just grease and stuff up. What's <laughs> just, going on, bro? I I was such a fat little kid. <laughs> <laughs> I was such a chubby little boy. I I like. I don't know. I I was just it's it's a it's a picture of me with a very smug look on my face wearing a very very um uh, uh worn out gray hoodie mm. and I don't know what it was but dude like on the pocket there's just this big grease. ass grease stain or something just, yeah pizza in your pocket <laughs> walking something. around a little I, sand be like mm, I got my pizza mm. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. such a fat boy. <laughs> It's a big boy. You Did found you the find video? it? All right, let's see this. Check it out. Find my 
<laughs> is that Chengsuan? Yeah. Is that yeah. that's your reaction? I was expecting so much more. What were you expecting, dude? It's it's cute. Do you know how many hours I put into this? Wait, you put hours. Do you into know that? how many? I mean, do you know how many video editing really softwares I had to go through? Sam, I really think that you need to take a tutorial class. Are you are you kidding? I me? mean, it's nice. Dude, it's not life changing. That is. That okay? No, if I were to upload that today, that'd be the number one TikTok. That'd be the I, number one. I meme. Would it though? What? I don't mean. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, you're. Oh, so you're Sam, serious? Sam feels disrespected right now. <laughs> you're being. You're being serious right now. I mean, bro. Maybe I lost. Maybe my eye couldn't catch something. I got age. My eyes are aged. Maybe okay. I, I missed something. Okay. You know? We'll, we'll talk about it after. It was, we'll talk we'll, about we're it later. We'll talk about this. All right. Well, thank you for sharing your amazing film skills and credits <laughs> with us. If you guys want to see, you guys can see it on his Instagram. It's at legit. It's Sam. Um, when this when this comes out, I'll I'll put a story on there like the go. link of the post that I'm talking about. There you go. Please do it. Um we're gonna we're gonna start wrapping this up. And I feel… I don't even know if we… I, I feel like we just rambled about stuff. I mean stuff. That's, that's what we always but do. That's, that's what I love. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. And I, and I hope people found it entertaining. But otherwise <laughs> I enjoyed catching up with you. As I always do. Mm -hmm. um, but you know… Anything that you want to tell your fans or your family or your brother and sister… Who you still <laughs> have not really figured out how old they are yet. Uh, you, this is your chance. Um… Yeah, so for the fans, thank you guys always for um, just waiting, waiting for my music and always cheering me on. 우리 한국에 계신 팬분들도 너무 감사드리고 그리고 항상 이렇게 기다려 주셔서 정말 너무 감사드리고. And to my brother and sister, my family, to my friends, I will remember how old you guys are <laughs> from now on, and I love you guys. And yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm 22. I'm 22. 20. What's the average age of people going into college? <laughs> 18? 22, 21, 20, 19, 18. Okay. So yeah. My sister should be 19. My brother is 17. And, ding, ding, ding. and we will confirm this. Yeah, we will confirm this. Yeah. Bless you, child. <laughs> 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 all right, guys. Uh, that's about it for us here today on the Ted Box Show. Sam, thank you first of all so much for coming on the show. I know it's been a minute since we caught up. But I'm glad that you came. And I'm so glad to see you doing well. Mm -hmm. And I can't wait for all of the new stuff to come out. Um, you guys can find Sam online. Check out his music. It's really amazing. And you guys can subscribe, review, rate our podcast. Wherever you get your podcast. And check it out on youtube.com slash dive studios and dive pods. And um, if you have requests, please go ahead. Tweet it to us or connect with us on our socials at Tedbox Show or at the Dive Studios. Now, before we go, Sam, could you improvise a quick outro jingle for us? Uh, we're at Dive. Studio, we're at Dive. Hey, studio, Dive. Studio with Eric Nam and Sam Kim. Hey! That, that may be the best one we've had so far. <laughs> Very much so. Oh, yeah, Galante. And we're like, oh, that was pretty strong too. Oh. But I mean, different. Dif just, okay. just, as, just as amazing. Maybe next time. We'll we'll do like a logo battle off. We could do that. Let's do that. Because that, um, my pride is really hurt right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Thank you so much. Everybody have a good week. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Wear a mask. And uh, yeah. Okay, bye. Love y'all. Hey guys, before you go, make sure you like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications for this channel. And comment if you can. And uh, before you go, there's so much more content. Look at this. Amazing content for you guys to check out. Do it. Now, please? Okay, bye. Go. Bye.